Hello, my friends. How's it going? It's me, Katie Rubin, your friendly neighborhood modern mystic energy healer, divine light channel. What's going on? Holy crap. We had a Pisces new moon <coughs> a couple days ago. I don't know if that's hitting any of you as much as it is me with my Pisces moon. It's quite a strong match. So it's been a deep, transformational, healing-oriented, intense, sensitive, psychic, spiritual, otherworldly time. And if you're not oriented the way I am, which I, I, I don't recommend, I don't recommend it. Is that lighting better? That is better. Um, then you might just be experiencing this as like, I'm extra tired, I'm extra slow, I'm extra spacey, my technology isn't working, things just aren't sort of exactly lining up on the human levels. That's because this is not a human kind of vibe. Pisces is transcendent, transpersonal, other dimensional. Let's look at your three card spread for the, I literally can't remember if we're at the beginning or the end of the week. We're in the middle of it, that's why. I think I missed one. Anyway, here you go. This is your three card spread for now. In the recent past, we've been dealing with the balancing act. Let me get my cords out of the way. I certainly have been dealing with the balancing act. In the present moment, we're coming to life. And the outcome card is movement. <coughs> Very interesting. Balancing act, let's hear about that. You are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions. Recent past. <clears throat> there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're juggling a thousand balls in the air. Yes. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. I have been. Now is the moment to evaluate which areas of your life need balance and then restore equilibrium. Check. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You'll find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused, level path. Simple. That's the recent past. Things have been topsy-turvy. Maybe one too many things on the old table. You gotta take one off, put a few on, whatever the case may be. Present moment, we are coming back to life. Slowly coming out of that transition into that Pisces new moon. Something beautiful is being born in your life. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Perhaps, this is, by the way, my legitimate favorite card. Look how happy this woman is. Holding the light of life in her hand. Perhaps you've shed skins and identities <coughs> and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time and spirit's timetable is rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must not try to coax it along or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. I think I just want to add something to that, which is to say, <clears throat> when we talk in these broad spiritual terms about not trying to coax things along or shaping things according to our desires. It just means sometimes when things are starting to be born and they feel good, we can try to push them a little too hard. We can push the river and try to shape things or make things happen in the timeline we want or whatever, whatever. So this is just a reminder, like you're coming to life. You don't have to push it. It's occurring. Nature is occurring through you. Consciousness is moving through you. The human design perspective, of course, is that we are, we do best in this reality when we take a passenger consciousness to what's going on through the being of you. I would add, you want to follow strategy and authority so you can most effectively function as yourself. But the gist remains, we don't have to push things into being. And luckily, here we are, coming back to life. Why would you push if you're already coming back to life? The outcome is movement. <clears throat> Interesting. You are in a time of positive forward motion. <clears throat> this is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a new stage of adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward. No matter what your inquiry, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't a time for fear. Let go and move forward. Boom. 
So we've been coming into balance in the recent past. Presently, we're coming to life. Isn't that nice? And the outcome is change, movement. Don't be afraid. It can't hurt you. You know what can hurt you? Not seeing the play I just produced and directed. <laughs> My actors are incredible. We're getting great reviews. We just need your butts in the seats. That's what we need. Sixth line studios.org for your tickets. I love you guys. Take care. Have a great day.